Uh, we need to uh, get rid of this cloud cover. I don't mm -hmm. know about you, yes, but uh, it's been uh, too long of a stretch. Yesterday was no exception with cloudy conditions. Every now and then the sky would kind of brighten in spots just a little bit, and uh, that was about as close as we got to seeing any kind of sunshine. Uh, it was mainly dry for most of the day, just those uh, flurries and pockets of drizzle early on. Uh, now, again, the sensor was uh, malfunctioning yesterday in Winona. It is now fixed, but... Uh, uh, yesterday's highs were in the 20s, 21 in Preston, 26 in Eau Claire, 27 here in La Crosse, and 30 in Boscobel. That 27 was right at average for a change, and it ended a six-day stretch in a row with uh, above-average high temperatures, but we've still seen above-average high temperatures on 22 of the 28 days this month of January. Now, let's go back one year ago today. Remember that? Uh, the last couple of days of January last year, Boy, they were brutal. We had heavy snow on Monday of this week and then brutal cold after that. In fact, many school districts were closed most or all of that week because of the heavy snow and then the dangerous wind chills. In fact, the high temperature one year ago was only five degrees in the cross with a low of 20 below and then northwest winds upwards of 30, 35 miles per hour. That pushed wind chills into the 30, 40, 50, even close to 60 below range uh, for a time uh, one year ago uh, this week. So. Uh, what a difference a year makes. Now, we have been cloudy, uh, but fairly mild, and especially during the overnight with the cloud cover, temperatures really don't fall much. 21 degrees, our average low is 9. Uh, winds are light, but uh, even a 5 mile per hour breeze is enough to push our wind chill down to 15. The pressure is holding steady, and the Mississippi continuing to gradually fall, but running high. 8.53 feet. So we're at 21 degrees here in the cross, but many surrounding communities are between about 17 and 19 degrees. Also 21 in Winona, a couple of uh, 24s down in Prairie du Chien and Boscobel. And notice uh, all of the uh, stations reporting calm winds this morning, so wind chills really not a factor. So cloudy once again this morning. A little weak disturbance over Iowa, providing some light snow there. And some of this may clip, uh, especially southern parts of the area today, with a few flurries. Should not be a big deal as the main storm system is well to our south. Uh, this disturbance out to the west here, that'll bring a slight chance for some light snow around here tomorrow night and into Friday. Until then, just uh, steady as she goes with the cloud cover. Again, maybe a few flurries in spots. Clouds may thin a little tonight, but still mainly cloudy. And then tomorrow, those clouds thicken again in advance of that uh, western disturbance. It'll bring a slight chance for some light snow uh, tomorrow night and into Friday. Maybe some light accumulations from this, perhaps a, a trace to an inch is the way it's looking right now at most. Temperatures today will be seasonably cold once again. 20s across the north, uh, low to mid 20s in many spots. 27 in Eau Claire, uh, upper 20s here in La Crosse, but low to mid 20s over uh, much of southeastern Minnesota and northeastern Iowa, and then getting into the upper 20s down towards Prairie du Chien and Boscobel. Lows tonight, lower teens will be common for Eau Claire in the Chippewa Valley, mid to upper teens here in La Crosse, but some surrounding communities will be colder, and then primarily teens across the south. And a look at highs tomorrow uh, with a uh, mostly cloudy sky still, mid to upper 20s for uh, northern sections of the viewing area, upper 20s to around 30 here in La Crosse, and then upper 20s to low 30s down to the south. So plenty of clouds again today. Maybe a few flurries, especially south, 28 for the high. Tonight, mainly cloudy, chilly, 17 for the low with uh, light winds. Tomorrow, continued cloudy, dry during the day with highs around 30. That chance of light snow arrives tomorrow night into Friday with a high of 33. Flurries could linger into Saturday morning, 35. Now, we may see some breaks in the clouds for some peaks of sun Saturday afternoon, but especially Sunday looks to be our best chance for extensive sunshine. Warmer for Groundhog Day as well. 41. Breezy Monday, 36. Another system brings a chance of light snow Monday night into Tuesday and turning a bit colder. 25 on Tuesday, 22 on Wednesday. Upper 20s with a slight chance of light snow next Thursday.